ticket. I have lost the joy of living. Annie is going to be just fine because she has you. I hate her deeply and I'm so glad I'm not going to be around her any longer. Take care of yourself, dear sister. I'm sorry. Take care, Sharon. I love you. <laughs> Kate. Kate. No. Kate. Kate, wake up. Kate, wake up. Don't do this now. No. No, Kate. Please don't do this now. Kate! 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 Kate, get up. Kate! Kate, wake up! Kate! What do you want? What? You are looking bad. What are you doing here? Come on, babe. I sent you a text now. It's Francis' birthday. I was supposed to go out and have fun with him. First, I did not read that stupid message you sent. And second, I have all the plans for tonight. All the plans? Constance, I, I told the boys that I'm going to bring you. And they all didn't see my woman. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead with your woman and leave me the hell alone. Why, 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 why? Why, why, why do you like breaking my heart? Hmm? Why? What do you mean, why? How many times do I have to tell you I'm not interested? I have other plans and I'm going to meet my Prince Charming. What is it? Why can't you just leave me alone? That's an investment to make, okay? We spent three weeks together. We had good memories. We made love and we... And I recounted with my Prince Charming who swept me off my feet. Kennedy, why can't you just take the three weeks and leave me the hell alone? What is it? So, so you found someone else who can give you something better than I can? Well, you're talking about my man I've known him for years. So please, I don't want you. I don't need you. And I don't want to ever see you in my house. Go! Please leave my house. I'm going out. What are you making? Should I come join you? Hmm? What are you still doing here, Constance? Jimmy, what am I still doing here? What I mean is exactly what I said. I didn't expect to wake up and still find you here this morning. That was not the plan. <laughs> Son, what plan are you talking about? You didn't tell me about any plan when you came last night to my house. <laughs> when you prepped me here and we had fun. I enjoyed it last night. You see, that's the point that you're deliberately choosing to ignore. Oh. I brought you here so we could have sex. And we did that all night. So, what are you still doing here? Why are you treating me like this? Why what? Why are you treating me this way? What did I do? Did I say something wrong? Is it, is it something like this? Look, look. I don't have time to banter words with you. I just need you to go get your things and, and leave. Please, leave my house. I'm waiting.
you took your food back to the kitchen and it is cold. Mom, I'm, I'm not hungry, okay? I'll eat later. You had the nightmare again? Sharon, you are our daughter. You know very well that your daddy and I deeply love you and Annie. And we have vowed never to let anything bad happen to you again. But you have to help us by letting go of the past before it consumes us all. Listen, I'm sorry, Mom. It's just that any time I see my late sister in a nightmare, I just, I feel horrible. As a matter of fact, I just feel like dying right away. God forbid, die, leaving me, your father, and Annie, all alone. Doesn't it sound selfish? Hmm? Sharon. Your father is going to be back from office shortly. And you know how he will feel looking at you, looking like a wife that just lost her husband. Cheer up. Go to the kitchen and carry your food, okay? Listen, Mom, I'm so sorry for putting you through all this stress. And you know what? I'll promise you that I'll pack up everything that has happened in the past and I'll just toss them in a trash can, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll try to move on with my life and just forget every event that, that occurred with my sister's death in the past. And I want you to know that I'm very grateful to you and Dad for the love, care, and support that you showed Annie and I. I truly am very grateful to you. Thank you for being part of our lives too. Now, tell me, Jeff, how much is that coffin that you have bought to bury your mom and I? Tell me, because I really need to know so that I can have an idea of how much, how truly you value us in death or alive. Dad, I've, I've been seated here for over 10 minutes now and quite frankly, I still don't understand why you really invited me here. Can you just... Do you know what you have done? You have broken our hearts. In fact, you have destroyed our joy and confined us to perpetual sadness in this family. I, I still don't understand. Please, what exactly have I done? What have I done this time? Jeffrey, why did you chase Capstan out of your house? Like a hello to paid money to sleep with. Is that the reason for this meeting? Yes! Constance? Yes, dear. Oh, no, no, no. I, I really, really can't have this conversation. I'm sorry. Dear. Good night. Take one step out of this house and I will show you that I am truly your father. Just one step, son. One step. Jeffrey, what is wrong with you? Why do you want to shut yourself away from the rest of us when you know we love you deeply? Look, sis, there's something I don't understand. What exactly is wrong with a grown man like me deciding to live his life the way he wants to? And why can't I just be left alone to live my life? There is nothing wrong with that. But everything is wrong if you want to live the way you want to live by alienating those who love you in the process. Well, you all won't be feeling alienated in the first place if you learn to mind your own business. Excuse me? 
and leave me to live my life the way I want to. Enough of that, Jeffrey. Enough. Can you imagine? Look here. I am done having this conversation with you. I am done. Okay, so now that you want to prove to me that you are headstrong, I will let you know that I, your father, can even be more strong. Now, listen up. First thing tomorrow morning, you are going to go to Constance and apologize to her for your stupid behavior. Exactly. And anything short of that would mean that you have drawn the battle line against me. <laughs> and you know, you cannot win this battle. For sure you Talk to your son. Smile. Listen to your father. He has a point here. Listen, Franklin, I'm extremely busy right now and I don't have time to play games with you. Could you please find someone else to play around with? I can see you enjoy talking to me condescendingly. But that doesn't bother me in any way. I'm in love with you and I'm ready to make you my woman. Okay. That is all that matters. Simple and clear. Then I guess that means that I would have to file a restraining order on you. Is that what you really want? What I really want is for you to see that I am the man made for you by God. And you are only delaying the inevitable, Sharon. <laughs> the inevitable? What Sharon. nonsense are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that I'm going to become your husband and you will become my wife. And you're going to give me beautiful kids. You are only delaying the process. Franklin, I'm gradually losing every bit of respect I have towards you. And if you don't leave my office this minute, I promise you I will call the security to take care of you. Sharon, sometimes I think you forget who it is that is seated before you. I ask because I think you will need something to remind you of who is actually asking you out. Oh, I know who's asking me out. Really? A small-minded and egocentric man who thinks he's something when he's actually nothing. You are going to regret this. And all the other insults you keep heaping on me. Sharon, trust me on this one. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What do you get? Uh, a plate of rice and some chicken. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, beautiful. Um, my name is... Uh, don't even bother. Um, I'm not interested in getting to know who you are. I just came in to have lunch and I'll be out of here shortly. Okay, well, <laughs> you're a beautiful lady and I'm sorry you had to catch me staring at you, but I just couldn't help but marvel at this, this beauty. Well, thanks for the compliment, but... Again, I just walked in to have lunch. 
and I'll, I appreciate it if you let me enjoy my lunch. Can you do that for me, please? Of course, why not? Thank you. Sure. Uh, well, listen, I'm sorry, but I just uh, need to find out something. Listen, mister, I've really tried to be nice to you and you're pushing it at this point. Can you leave me alone to enjoy my food, please? Wow, well, I actually just wanted to ask if we've ever met before. I have to ask because you, you look very familiar. My name is Jeffrey. What's I don't this? care to know your name and I'm not going to tell you mine. All right. Now, if you don't leave me alone this instant, I'm going to leave this food for you to enjoy and I'll walk out of here. I'm not joking with you. Of course. Um... Enjoy your meal. <clears throat> Oh yes, four years of my life. And Jeffrey's making me feel like I wasted it. Constance, calm down. Is that Phoebe told you he's no longer interested in the relationship? He only told you to leave his house. Told me to leave his house? Is that the right way to treat someone you're in a relationship with? I have given this guy four years of my life. Don't you get it? I deserve better. I know. So, what are your plans now? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I, I just maybe talk to talk to his parents and tell them to convince him to treat me better. You know, marry me, maybe. Babe, do you want me to tell you exactly how I feel? You. Yes. See. All these quarrels, fights, issues. But Jeffrey is really getting on my nerves already. I've been your friend for three years. And I don't see love between the two of you. I think you deserve better. Just leave him already. I should leave him. Yes. Can you even listen to yourself? I should leave a four years relationship. I should leave him. What? You want me to end up alone like you? How can you even advise me I should leave four years relationship? You can ask what on me not to eat. So I'm lonely, Abby. Yes, who is it? Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy. Come in, the door is open. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Um, is Constance around? Yes, she is. Okay. Can I, can I see her, please? I'm sorry, you won't be able to see her. She has been in a very bad mood since money. What, what happened? I'm not sure I can tell you. You can just go and come back some other time. Okay, um... Just... Can you make sure she gets that, please? Okay, it's so nice. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Um... Can you tell your friend that I love her very much? Okay. I'll do just that. Thank you. Oh, um, and she has a really nice booty. Okay. I'll tell her that too. Yeah, bye. bye. Auntie, I am a little worried. Why are you worried? About you. About me? Why would you be worried about me? Grandpa and Grandma has been talking about you the whole day because they want you to have a boyfriend. <laughs> they said all that to you? Yes, auntie. <laughs> so, I don't have a boyfriend and I don't need one, okay? You don't have to worry about that. I don't want you to have a boyfriend or do you have one? 
No, I don't have a boyfriend because I really don't need a boyfriend. Okay. What time are you going to get married? <laughs> so here's the thing, okay, sweetie. When it comes to relationships, sometimes when it comes to marriage, some marriages work. Sometimes others don't. Okay. But the main thing to know is that marriage is not for everyone. Okay. okay. All right. So. You don't have to worry about me, all right? Okay, okay, I'm fine and I'll always be fine. All right, deal? Deal. deal. Okay. So what we'll do now is I have to go talk you into bed and then I'll, until we take a shower and go to bed too, okay? Yes, okay. Take that back. Take it back and I promise you I'll act like it never happened. No, I don't want you. I would never want you, Kennedy. What? Does it sound better now? Do you believe it? Why? Why, Constance? Why? Why? Because I don't love you. And I will never love you. I love someone else. Why can't you get it? How many does I have to say it? Yeah, your friend your friend said so. Tell me about the guy that you're pinning for. She, she did? Oh, so kill that girl. No, you don't have to do that. Because <laughs> she told me how you're running and chasing after a man who doesn't love you. I, I can relate because clearly there's, there's no love here. But you know what? I'm gonna retrace my steps. There's no point throwing my heart over, over someone that's gonna get hurt, so. But I can live without you. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, that's the best news I've heard. Good for you. Nice one, boo. Go. Goodbye. Please leave her bed. Let me concentrate on something very important. And please lock my door very well. Oh, Ken. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm not doing good. It's over between Constance and I. Today's the saddest day of my life. Ken, don't do this. Don't cry. I mean, why? Why do I get such poor treatment from Constance? Why? I know that I've only known her for a short period of time, but ever since I've given her nothing but love and compassion. I understand your pain. But she doesn't love you. Don't you think it's better for you to move away from someone that doesn't love you? Why don't you waste your time and emotions loving the person? You're right. I'll survive somehow. I know you will. Hey, do you want to hang out a little bit? I don't want to be myself. I'll be thinking too much. Hmm? Okay. I'm not going to school tomorrow. Um, right now, I don't mind somehow calling my system. Mm. Let's go. my bed at 10 in the night made me get dressed and came to your house for you to have sex with me now you're asking me out of your house look it's not like i forced you to come have sex with me i asked you to come and you came willingly so what makes you think that having sex with me automatically means that you will spend a night here i'm your girlfriend and i've spent the night here before are you okay no the question is, are you okay? I mean, what is wrong with you women? Why can't you be satisfied with what is being offered? Okay, so you had sex with me. Big deal. Okay, now that the deed is over, the deal is done. What more do you want?
Juve. It's my favorite one. you get in here? Leave all that question in. I'm here to make your wildest imagination come true. Here, I want you. You don't look too good to me. I'm not okay. Stella, your brother is playing games with me. Jeffrey again. Honestly, I am starting to get seriously tired of talking about Jeffrey. Because almost everything about that guy makes me either unhappy or angry. What did you do this time? <sighs> Stella, I want to ask you a question and I want you to be very honest with me. Go ahead. What is it? It's about a seeing someone. Do you know of any woman in his life? <laughs> I'm sorry. But I don't know how to answer this question, Constance. I mean, I'm even surprised you would ask such a question. When everybody knows that my brother is a skirt chaser. Oh, come on. I love him. I love him with my whole heart. Then I love him. Oh. I love him and walk away, Constance. My brother is not the kind of guy a lady should love. Oh, it's not that easy. I mean, loving is easy, but unloving is tough. I love your brother with my whole heart and I'm ready to do anything to make him see that. I don't know, I just, I just have it in me that someday, you know, somehow he's going to appreciate the love I have for him and give me his heart, you know, me and me alone. See, Costas, I am a woman like you and I have spoken to you the way every woman would. After all this, any decision you take is solely yours and yours alone. But you see, from a woman to another woman, I would advise you leave my brother. He's not worth any woman's job. But yes. Hello. Lady? Good morning. It's so nice to see you again. And you look, wow, you look even more beautiful than when I saw you yesterday. What's your name, Miss Oh, I'm Jeffrey. Jeffrey, you I never asked you to see. Oh. My seats are for clients and business associates. Which one of them are you? You know, you haven't even told me your name. And that's not nice. Don't you think so? Mr. Vichapo, I'm trying very hard to be civil here. Please do not push me beyond my control limit. How can I help you? Well, quite simply, I'd, I'd like to take you out to lunch. You know, I just want to get to know you. And I will not take no for an answer. <laughs> oh. 
Hello? Security. Yes, please uh, come up to my office and uh, bring extra men with you. Thank you. Okay, so you've called your security people to come kick me out. Well, I already envisaged that, so I came prepared. What are you doing? I'm getting myself prepared for your security. Uh, listen, this is not the right place for this, okay? I came in here a sane man and asked you to lunch and you called your security people which must mean that i'm a crazy person so i'm just gonna put myself in that state of dementia and craziness so that your security people can throw me out for the mad, mad man that i am you know miss okay you please this is a professional environment could you please put your clothes back on please i'm not trying to see all of that this is too much Thank you so much for agreeing to come out with me. I'd like to make a toast to a good life and friendship. Um, listen, Mr. Kachuku, I agreed to come out here with you because I didn't want people to think that I entertained that people in my office. So could you tell me exactly what you really want from me? Well, for starters, you're a very beautiful lady and I'd really like to know your name. Can you at least tell me your name? Okay. My name is Sharon. Sharon. Nice. That's a really sweet name. Well, I'm sure you've heard this a thousand times before and saying it would be different, but indeed, you are very, very beautiful. I couldn't help, you know, keep my eyes off you the first time I saw you yesterday. So what I really want is to be your friend. Maybe your best friend even. Well, thanks for the compliment. Um, but unfortunately, I have to decline your offer of friendship. Now, if you don't mind, I have to leave. Thanks again. For no, 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 please, please. Please don't go, please. Um, Mr. Okechuku, I don't have time for this, okay? I can't play around, I really have to go. Okay, can you at least tell me why you don't want to be my friend? I can't do this with you. Seriously. Just let me leave. Now. Oh. <laughs> um. Listen. I know you have lots of other sex with me. But that's never gonna happen. I know. In case you're thinking about doing what you did at the office earlier, please never try that again. Because I will make sure that you regret your every move. And I'm not playing with you. It's been a long day already, and I've got so much work to do. Aha! Uh -huh. My angel is back. Oh God, what did I do to deserve this attack from this silly man? What are you talking about? Who attacked you? Listen, Franklin, can you please leave and come back some other day? I'm so behind on my work that I need to catch up. I don't have time for mundane discussions. Mundane discussions? Is that how you see me? Eh? Sharon, you see me as a guy who doesn't have anything important to discuss with you? I'm talking to you. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why did you do that? Sharon, I've taken enough of your insolence. It's about time you sit up and talk with me. When are we getting married? Huh? I said, when are we getting married? Married? <laughs> Listen, Franklin, 
you must be a cycle for you to even think that I'll consider being with you. You must be joking, woman. In short, you are sick. I've been laughing, playing around with you, thinking that you receive some sense and see the need to be with me. Friend, honestly, I used to think that you were crazy. But now, I know that you're beyond crazy. As a matter of fact, <laughs> you need some serious medical checkup. Say, so Sharon, I'm in love with you. And it is by fire, by force. You cannot just use me and dump me just like that. Not Franklin. Never. Use you? Yes. Franklin, are you referring to the one night stand that we had? Is that what you're talking about? So, you called what we had that night a one night stand? Franklin, what else should I call it? We had sex at the back of my car. At the back of my car, Franklin. And it barely lasted up to a minute. Listen, I'm not proud of what we did, okay? But I can tell you that I'm matured enough to put it behind you. And I suggest you do the same too. Oh, Sharon, I know what to do. You better be ready for a battle. Because what I'm bringing to your doorstep is bigger than a world war. Trust me on this one. You hear from me. Oh my god. Oh, psycho, 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 psycho all around. Yeah, I can't even get some work done. Hey girlfriend, welcome. Hey. Do you want anything to eat? I could. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine. You look worried. Are you okay? I went to see Stella today. Okay. Jeffrey's sister. And with all she told me, I think Jeffrey needs help. How? How? I mean, she, she said a whole lot of things. I mean, she said... He never used to be like this. Okay. He was sweet, nice, he was such a gentleman. Before he went to school, when he came back, he totally changed. So, you mean his own family knows he has a problem? Yes, of course they, they know. I mean, I spoke to them a few times and they're in support of our relationship. I mean, that's the only consolation I have. When was the last time you saw Jeffrey? The day he kicked me out of his house. Why? Darling, so you don't think Jeffrey is the one you need to have a heart to heart talk with? He's the one you need to talk to. You're in love with him, right? The problem with you is you don't have a relationship. You don't have a man. So you know nothing about having, keeping, or maintaining a man. I don't think I get you. I wasn't expecting you to get me. Let me break it down for you. When you have a man, I mean, in this life, when you eventually get a man, the first thing you do, you be friends with your man's friends and family. With that, you have 90% chance of them convincing him to marry you. It's so obvious. I can't change your mind. No, because you don't have a man. And when you do, let me now give you one or two tips about how to keep a man. Yes, auntie. You need to go freshen up. Are you expecting anyone? Who is there? It's Kennedy. This guy again. Which guy wanna be this one? What is it? What do you want? Why can't you just live my life? What is it that you want? What is it? I don't want this guy. I've been paying what time. What is it? Why can't you leave me now? Not by force. Which guy wanna be this one? I beg. Leave me alone. I don't want a relationship. Is it by force? Why can't you just leave me? Eh? Eh? I'm talking to you. Is it by force? Leave me alone. Now, what are you coming to do in my house? What is it?
I'm coming. I don't understand. Uh -oh. So this is the one I'm talking about. They are all here in Nigeria. I'm gonna pick them up tomorrow. Wow, this is so nice. Man. I want ah. this, I want this. In fact, I want everything. You want mm. everything. And I need to change my wardrobe. Uh, no problem, yes. but please, when you're coming to pick this one up, bring my balance, okay? Ah, why are mm. you talking like this? What do you mean? Money. Is it not money I used to buy? Do you have this? Yeah, I have this, but not this. I have this exact all, I think. I need this exact kind. Anything she wants, I want it. Yes. Uh -uh. I don't have any problem with that. Just give me my money. The, uh -uh. Your balance. Yes. I'll give you now. Yes. Mm -hmm. It will take a little time. Though. Not now. Pay, pay, pay. Whatever. Is that not Clara? Sharon. Sharon. Oh, hey, oh. Stella! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Kemi! Oh <laughs> Gina! Gina! <laughs> How are you, darling? I'm good! How are you? I'm fine! Hey. Please come hey. sit here! You're so pretty! <laughs> Is it still up? Ah, I can't hang out with you tonight. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Constance, mm -hmm. what the hell are you doing here? What do you mean what I'm not doing in my boyfriend's house? I miss you, have you been? You haven't, you haven't answered my question. What the hell are you doing in my house? I came here to give you some scalp. I miss you. Why did you push me like that? I could have gotten injured. Listen, Constance, I don't have time for your drama. It's too early in the morning for this. Please go back home and leave me alone. What's wrong with you? What, what did I really do? I'm, I'm sorry, why can't you forgive me? I'm sorry. Constance, please don't, don't make me say something to you that I don't want to say. Please, I beg you to go back home. What is it? Say it. Say it. What do you have to say? Say it. Let me know my stand with you. Really? Go ahead. Yes, really? yes, really? say it. Yes. You want me to say it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, I have never loved you. Never, I have never had a shred, a single shred of feeling for you, okay? The only reason I was with you is because the sex was good. And guess what? All that is over now because I finally found a woman that, that struck something inside of me, okay? So the rest of you can go sleep in a bloody lagoon for all I care. Of 
I've always known you were cheating on me. I mean, everybody knows you are cheat. But this is different. You're in love with another woman. Who is she? Yes. Yes, I'm in love with another woman. And the feeling is magical. Okay? She's very special in every way. She makes me want to spend every single minute with her. So, yes, I'm in love. So, so what happens to me? Is that a question for me? Four years. Four years of my life wasted. Four years. I don't need any of you anymore, Constance. Please. Okay? Jeffrey is free. I'm a free man now. I found love. I found something good. Don't ever come back. Please. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Huh? What do you think? Nice face. Hmm? Obviously furnished by a man. No, that's supposed to mean, man. <laughs> you like my style of interior? Could you like my scarf? Hmm? Um, not that. Just like if I have enough fun and time, I'm sure I can do better. <laughs> I can do better work here. Mm, yeah, quite, uh, quite like it as my interior decorator. Mm. I'm very expensive. Do it. It's like I can't afford you. <laughs> you can't. No, sit, sit, sit. Let me get some drink, eat. What do you want? No. Sit down. So tell me why you brought me to your house. You said you have something important to tell me. Right? Yes, I, I, I do have something important to tell you. I don't want you to take me very seriously. See, I like you a lot. I like you too. I know, I know you do, but, but I mean, like, I have strong feelings for you. You're joking, right? I'm not. Listen, like, I want us to take our friendship to the next level. Kennedy, why are you acting like this? You told me to help you make Constance jealous. Now you're acting out of the script. Look, I've come to know you. Okay, I've, 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 I've been with you for a couple of days. I've seen how you are. You're simple, easy. I know your views on life and love. I'll be a fool if I let you go. See, you're pushing for too much. No. Is it possible? I can tell you wait, listen, please. Is it possible? I, come on, you said you like me. Yes, I like you. So give me a chance then, come on. No. I'm not ready for this. this house last night. It was some minutes to 12. Very drunk. Now you listen, I know that you're an adult. We will not tolerate this act anymore in this house. 
Is that clear? Yes, sir. See, I'm, I must apologize for my actions. I'm very sorry. Uh, it's just that I went to the bar to get my usual one shot of vodka. And I, I ran into some old university friends. We just had too much to drink. And I honestly apologize. And I promise you that it will never happen again. Cheryl. Yes, ma'am. We have a little girl in this house. We all owe her the duty to behave properly. I wonder what would have happened if she had been awake to see her auntie come back from work very late at night and drunk. Mom, I'm really sorry and I promise you that it will never happen again. I'll give you my word. Okay. There is one more thing we need to discuss. Frank was there yesterday. And he came to ask for your hand in marriage. What? Yes. What are you talking about, Mom? What was wrong with that retard? Why is he so immature and stupid? Please stop. Sharon, stop it. Now listen, don't talk about other people like that. Sharon, Frank loves you. And the truth is, he honestly wants to make an honest woman of you. Well, guess what, Dad? I don't love him. Sure. Okay? I don't love him. Listen, he might come across to you and one like a very fine gentleman and an adorable person. But to me, he's only a maniac. A maniac? Yes. What are you talking about? First of all, his temper and his inability to handle issues. Listen, mom, listen, dad, uh, Franklin is the type of guy that every normal woman should avoid. Oh, really? Yes. So what do you want us to do about his desire to, to, to marry you? Well, that sounds like a personal problem. And that has nothing to do with me. Listen, I'm not interested, okay? I'll never marry Franklin. Then who are you going to marry? Well, when the time comes, you'll be the first to know. Okay. Well, we're waiting. I just hope we'll be alive to see, I mean, the dream man you're bringing for, to meet with us. And we want to see our grandchildren. Is that clear now? I advise you to go home. We will call Jeffrey here and talk to him. Exactly. Mama, I cannot go home. Don't you understand what I've been telling you? He told me he's found love in another woman's arms. Mama, I know he's been cheating on me, but this is different. I, I could see the light shining in his eyes when he was talking about this woman he's in love with. Well, has he told us anything about being in love with someone else? Exactly. He hasn't. And that's the reason why we're asking you to go home. So that we can have time to handle this matter properly, okay? But I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I cannot go in my face and be put in disgrace and embarrassment. Did you just say shame and embarrassment? What, what are you talking about? No, Papa, don't you understand it, eh? Don't you get it? I'll be embarrassed now. Jeffrey made me drive off all the good men that was coming around me because he wanted me to be with just him alone. And now the only man I have, my roommate has taken him away from me. You push tell him to come and marry me. You push tell him to come and marry me. Or there's something will happen. Me, I will do something. I will, I will sky everywhere. What? You're talking rubbish. Eh? What rubbish? There. Can you listen to him? No, man, this is not a matter of shouting. Tell him to marry me. If he cannot marry me, find me a husband. He has to marry me. He has to marry us. Me, I will do. I will do anything I want to. Tell him to come and marry me. Me, I will not be. Ah. Honey. She has gone lost. Can you see what Jeffrey has cost us? I, and I will not have her destroy my son. I will deal with her. Your son, Jeffrey. I will deal with her. I will not you have this stupid girl destroy my son. Can you imagine?
not ask the Lord that. Lord, why didn't you call me to come and give her a daughter? I don't care. I don't care, mom. What's rubbish? Eh? How dare she? I dealt with her too. I dealt with her. She has no right to come into our home to threaten my only brother. Who's threatening your only brother? Says Jeffrey. Nobody is joking with you here. You have caused us so much pain in this family. And then a mad woman just left this house, threatening to deal with you because you broke her heart. Can you imagine? Jeffrey! Let me guess, um, this mad woman is Constance. Hmm? Laura, better talk to this your son. He thinks this is a joke, before I will lay curses on him. Jeffrey. Constance left here now. Threatening that you must marry her or something bad will happen. My son, what is going on? Look, mom, you don't need to worry about Constance, okay? She'll be fine. I actually came here to share some good news. Mom, I'm in love. <sighs> yes, I'm in love. Yes, I'm happy. So, you are you. happy? What are you talking Excuse about? me. What I'm saying is I finally found the girl that that can help me get rid of this pain that I've had in my heart for so long. You know, she's still proving hard to get, Sha, but very soon she'll be mine. I'm happy for you. Please. Don't worry. She's someone you all will meet very soon. Hmm? She doesn't know you love her. Oh, she knows I love her. She just doesn't know she loves me yet. But that's Ooh. something I intend to rectify very soon. <laughs> okay, so what then happens to Constance? Hmm? That girl gave you her years, and clearly she's hurting because you have dealt with her so badly. Look, Dad. Constance will be fine, okay? What's up? Mom, please. Can we just stop talking about Constance? Okay? Let, let's be happy for me. I found love. I'm, Mom, I'm about to give you a chance to plan the wedding of the decade that you've always wanted to plan for me. Okay, you're happy. So can we just be happy for me? Laura. That must be my girls. You're going shopping. So I'm going to be a Yes, she is beautiful, mom. You will destroy this boy's life. Come on, dad. Can I just have Excuse a me. Oh. So, how are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. <laughs> Come in. Hey, what's he doing here? Do you know him? Yes. He's the obnoxious guy I told you has been stalking me. Well, my brother's middle name is obnoxious. <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you the woman he's in love with? Oh, no. No. Let's go off my head. He's hurting me. Come on, what's, what's wrong with you, Stella? How can the woman I love be your friend and you refuse to talk to her about my feelings for her? Because gone are the days I spoke to my friends on your behalf. I won't allow you go close to Sharon. I don't want you to break her heart. No, no. Come on, look. I love that woman. I love that woman in our house. Don't you understand? She's the one for me. Seriously, she's, she's my final bus stop. I promise. You really love this one, huh? Yes! Yes, I do. But I need to tell you something about her past. I don't, I don't care about her past, okay? I just want to share her future with her. Can you just listen to me? Just calm down and listen to me. Let me tell you something. Okay, I'm listening. 
Sharon lives with her foster parents who adopted her and her niece. Okay. Her kid sister committed suicide after having a child out of wedlock and was unable to take care of her. So Sharon has been responsible for taking care of her and the niece till they were adopted. Now, whatever happened to her kid sister changed her perception about men and relationships. So you see, Sharon is the last person you, you can break her heart. She can't handle any heartbreaks right now. Is that it? Yeah, that's... It's, it doesn't change anything. I, I still love her, okay? And it would give me great pleasure to be the man that will wipe away her tears and bring joy back into her life. Do you understand? Look, I need you to help me beg her, please. Sister, help Don't me, start. help Don't me, help me beg her. Right now. Beg, beg her for me, huh? Let her give me a chance to show her how, how much I love her. Come on, hmm? I'll try, okay? You will? Sharon. Yes. Okay, see, I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I didn't just go out there with my brother to discuss about you. Because I know that you all know that that's what happened. He wants to talk to you. Like, right now. Outside. No. I'm not going to talk to him. Stella, before I came here, you promised me that he wouldn't bother me. So why are you going against your word? Look, all he wants to do is to talk to you. That's all. He sincerely loves you. You know, I haven't had friends in a while. At least not friends that I can enjoy their company. And now that I finally found it, you ruined it for me. As a matter of fact, I'm sad right now because you've destroyed it. Uh, you know what, Kenny and Mercy, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Come on, Sharon, it hasn't gotten to that. Yeah. Well, so this is how you and your brother decided on ruining the whole day for us today. What? What? Kenny. Come on. Mercy, you too? Yes, me too. Come on, guys. What? It's not my fault. Sharon, I hope you're not leaving because of Leave me. Leave me alone, Jeffrey. Leave me alone now! No, no, I'm not going to let you go oh, until you talk wow. to me. Come on! Jeffrey, this is an ambush, all right? An ambush because I'm here in your father's company. No, 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 please, no, please, 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 I beg you, just give me a chance. Give me a chance to get to know you. Look, I know I'm not a perfect person. I've done a lot of bad things. But look, I, I'm not proud of it, okay? I love you and I know this. I know it's a pu it's pure love. Please, Jeffrey, please. Jeffrey, I, I, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Come on, Sharon, please. Come in, hold on. Hey, you guys are here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, please. Come in. Yeah. Um, make yourselves comfortable. Have a seat. <laughs> um, so, not you. What can I offer you? <laughs> I'm not here to talk to you. 
you on a social visit? You said you wanted to talk and that you'd rather do it at your house than anywhere else. So I'm here. I'm all in. And then just came across the body that Okay. Um very well, very well. Um Okay, uh, I invited you here so we could talk in my house because, well, this is me. I feel like this is where you can see me, uh, you know, not some restaurant or eatery or something, you know, where there could be distractions or pretenses. And um, I want to tell you that I've, I've never felt with any other woman the way, the way I feel with you. Look, I, I know that it might seem strange you know, telling you about myself or my past, especially since we just met. You know, but I'd rather you hear all the dirty details from me rather than someone else. Sharon, in this house, I'm not proud to say, but the truth is I have bedded a lot of women. Sometimes I had to lie to them to get them into my bed and I treated a lot of them shabbily afterwards. But I guess I was that person because um, I just couldn't make a connection with anyone. Many years ago, I lost someone I really loved and that basically turned my world upside down. And ever since then, it's been very hard making any sort of meaningful connection with, with anyone. Until you. That very first day I saw you. It felt like a healing had come upon me. I just feel this is something really special. This is me, Sharon. This is me. I hope that, I hope you won't turn away from me now, having known all this. Please. So you forward it then? Yes, I will. I would. Maybe when we're, we're done, I will try and send it to you as well. Sharon, why are you pacing up and down? Actually, that can talk to the boys of your Sure. Yeah, sure. I think I might have found someone who I could get in a relationship with. Really? Wow, that's good news. So tell us, who is this young man? Yeah, he's someone who I initially uh, considered to be a stalker until I ran into some old university friends who uh, one of them happened to be a sis his sister. And then I spent some time with the family. And I think I might have liked him from the beginning without realizing it. Well, that's a good thing. In fact, it's a good start. Yeah. So, what's the problem? <laughs> There's just something about this guy that plagues the back of my mind. I don't know what it is. How do you mean? I can't, I, I don't understand it. 
I can't point my finger at it, but there's something about him that makes me want to put up a guard and protect myself. Sharon. Yes, Dad. Now listen. You see, what you're experiencing now, it's normal. Oh yes, it is. See, under the circumstances that you've not been in a relationship for a very long time. So it's normal. Yes. So you need to relax and just, just let things flow. Okay. Okay. Do you have to bring him home? Let's talk with him soon. Okay. I'll do that after I spend some time with him and get to know him and just find out what I want with him or from him. Okay? No problem. You can sort all of that out in two days. Ah, Ma, two days? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> we have to plan for the wedding right away. Oh, <laughs> Go to my room before you start playing. Good night, Sharon. <laughs> See what you're putting your money through. We are preparing for our son in law, future son in law. <laughs> that please take it into it, him before you scare him away. Scare him away? Yeah, you two have been together for close to two months now. If you wanted to run away, we'd have done that long ago. Well, besides, since you've been hanging out with Jeffrey, I mean, I just realized that you've been mediating one kind of <laughs> happiness around the house. <laughs> well, thanks for noticing. And yes, I'm happy and he makes me happy. Oh, Jeffrey's here. Oh, is Hold it? on, let me get you. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, this is Jeffrey, my boyfriend. Jeffrey. My dad and my mom. Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. You're welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Please. Jeffrey, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> okay, so now that the introductions are over, mom, let's go to the kitchen and get the food. Yeah? Okay. 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 Thank welcome. you so much. I'm leaving.
<laughs> oh. I told you he has a good sense of humor. You guys just make it so easy. I mean, you have such a beautiful family, and I'm really excited to be here today, sir. Oh, thank you, thank, thank you. you very much. We're, we're we're happy as well. We're excited to have you, and I'm hoping that you will be one of us in the nearest future, right? Dad. Yes. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You know, sir. <laughs> quite frankly, I'm looking forward to be to being a part of your family. <laughs> oh wow! Who's the beauty? My name is Annie. I am eight years old. Annie. Well, my name is Jeffrey, and I'm too old. <laughs> so she's actually my late sister's daughter. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, she's so beautiful. Yes, she is. Wow. <laughs> Your uh, late sister, huh? Mm. Oh, she's she's beautiful. Mm. I'll just show you my mom's picture. Oh. Oh, Annie. No, it's okay. It's okay. Come on, let me. <laughs> okay. Sit over here. <laughs> let me see. This is my mom. She's very young. I want to be Okay. Okay. Kate is your mom? How did you know my late sister? Kate is your sister? Yes, Kate is my sister. Do you know my late sister, Kate? No. Jeffrey? No, no, no. Are you okay? No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Jeff. Jeffrey? What's, what's going on? This is weird. I told you we cannot do anything beyond kissing. Oh. Jeff, I'm a virgin and I don't want to get pregnant. You won't get pregnant. But I love you. This is the only way I can prove my love to you. What if I am pregnant? You won't get pregnant. See, listen. I have experience, okay? And I know exactly what to do so that you don't get pregnant. What if? Jeff, you know... I stay with my other sister in the ghetto. Life is hard for us already, and I don't want to get pregnant except I'm married. <laughs> That's it. Then I'll marry you, Dave. Yes. You can't marry me. You're still a student. Okay, I know. See, my parents are rich, and of course they will like you for a daughter-in-law. Kids, I'm going to marry you. What? No matter what. I love you. I love you too, Jeff. I love you, but just promise me. Promise me you won't leave me to the winds, no matter what. I promise. Never. Come on. Are you sure? Never will I leave you to the winds. Because you're meant to be mine. I love you, Kate. I love you too. <laughs> what? Please don't do this to me, please. Jay, please. If you do this to me, I'll kill myself, please. Are you out of your senses? <laughs> Come on. Don't you expect me to take care of you while I'm still in school? Do you want my parents to kick me out of school? 
and you promised you'll be there for me and oh please <laughs> shut up oh. this, this is what most guys tell girls I, I mean you should know all these things just to sleep with them ah uh, can i just leave it you the first time and you're telling me you're pregnant okay. yes please i beg you please oh please <laughs> just please listen me. jeff jeff please, please. <laughs> <laughs> You know, she never told anyone who was responsible for her pregnancy. She took all of that information and her suffering to her grave. Oh my God, no, this is we not true. We were both naive. I was, I was scared. I loved her. God, no, this is not true. Is and not I've true. never been able to love anyone until I met you. Oh my God. You caused my sister to commit suicide, Jeffrey. You were so cruel, sir. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> you know what, Jeffrey? It's over between us. Don't you know, I don't ever want to see your face again. And I mean it. Sharon, please, no, Sharon. Please, please, I'm sorry. Please, forgive me, please. Forgive you? Listen, there's nothing to forgive. You know what? You wait till you die and you meet Kate, then you can ask her for forgiveness. Please. And listen, if you think, if you think that you can form a relationship with Annie, just forget it. You have, she has nothing to offer you. Baby, please. Please, I love you. Please. Sharon, no. please, I, I love you. No. Uh, don't leave me. If you leave me, I'll die. I swear, I'll die. Love. Love is like a burning fire. It can either burn to cause joy, or it can burn to cause destruction. <laughs>